Hey everyone, Dankman here. So, today we're going to talk about how to graph lines that don't look the way we're used to it. So, if you look at the title, it's 4.3, graphing AX plus BY equals C. So that's not Y equals MX plus B. But, when we look at this kind of equation, we'll see that what comes out is a line. So it's not like a function, like y equals mx plus b. And we can't see the slope and intercept inside of the equation, okay? But, it will still make a line. Pretty interesting. So our first example, I'm going to do one way, and it's going to be the equation 3x plus 2y is equal to 12. Okay? And I'm going to show you a technique for graphing it, and then I'm going to make a point about it. Alright? So here we go. So we know what we want to do. We want to graph this equation, 3x plus 2y equals 12. I've told you that it's going to look like a line, but it's not clear how to graph that line because we don't know what its slope and its y-intercept are. We don't know anything else about it. So here is a big point to make, and this is a point I made before. And it's a point that you should carry with you through math class forever. If you're trying to work with a function or an equation and you don't know anything at all about it, you can always, always make a table. Worst case scenario, you can always make a table. An XY table is a pretty simple thing usually. You've got your X side and your Y side and you plug in something for x and you get out something for y, okay? This one's a little bit different because it doesn't work quite like a function with an input and an output. Things are all mixed up together. The input and output variable are both on the same side of the equation. I could work with that a few different ways. I'll show you the way I'm thinking right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to think of an x that I want to plug in. So in this case, I'm going to try the easiest number I can think of, which is 0. And I'm going to write my 3x plus 2y equals 12, but I'm going to replace x with the number 0, so substitute 0 for x. That gives me 0 plus 2y equals 12, or 2y equals 12. And using our equation solving skills, that gives us that y is equal to 6. So what happened is when I plugged in 0 for x, I got out 6 for y. All right? And the point 0, 6 is right here on the graph. Now, I could go ahead and plug in a different x value and then solve that equation. That's something I could do. But there's something neat about this equation here. Since the x and the y are mixed up on the same side, it gives me an easy opportunity to actually do something we almost never do because we're usually working with functions, which is I'm going to plug in what happens if y equals 0. So y is usually the output. But in this equation, it's not quite written like that. So I'm going to think of this as 3x plus 2y. I'll replace y with the number 0. And that gives me 2 times 0 over there. So 3x plus 0 equals 12. So 3x equals 12. And using my equation solving skills, x has to be equal to 4. So if x is 4, when y is 0, x is 4. And the point 4, 0 is on my graph right there. And now that I have two points, and I know it's a line, and you know it's a line because you've been told it's a line, well, to make a straight line, all we need are two points, and then we can fill in all the other points along the way. And now that we've graphed this line, I want to make a point to you. You can see the y-intercept is equal to 0, comma 6, so we say b is equal to 6, right? And we can also see the slope quite clearly from this graph. The change in x being 2 and the change in y being negative 3. So we get m is equal to change in y over change in x, which is negative 3 over 2. And so what that tells me, that tells me that this equation should also be written or this line could also be graphed by the equation, 
y is equal to mx plus b, y is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 6, okay? Because when I graphed this original equation and looked at my graph, I had a y-intercept of 6 and a slope of negative 3 over 2. So I'm going to show you that part now, okay? So here's my original equation, 3x plus 2y is equal to 12. And the conjecture that we have is that that equation should make the same line as this equation, y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 6. So let's find out how that's possible. And how that's possible involves using the equation manipulation ideas that we came up with a couple chapters ago. What I'm going to do is, because I know that I, I want to see if this equation can turn into that equation, I'm going to try and get my y all alone on the left side of the equation and everything else on the other side of the equation. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the golden road, and I'm going to try to subtract 3x from both sides, and that's going to change how the equation looks, but it's not going to change the value of the equation, because as long as we do the same thing to both sides, the value of the equation isn't ruined. And then to get y fully alone, I need to divide both sides entirely by 2. So on the left side now, finally, y is completely alone. And on the right side, I have to divide negative 3x divided by 2 and 12 divided by 2. And so in final, easy-to-look-at form, I have y is equal to negative 3 divided by 2x plus 12 over 2, which is 6. And so it's true. So, to review, you can graph any function that you ever get or any equation that you ever get by making a table. In this case, we got 3x plus 2y equals 12. We didn't know anything about that line, so we made a table. I did that the easiest way I knew how, which was by plugging in 0 for x and 0 for y to get two different points and graphing that line. When we graphed that line, it made a very clear picture of a y-intercept of 6 and a slope of negative 3 over 2. And then I used my equation manipulation skills to see if it's in fact true that the original equation, 3x plus 2y equals 12, is equivalent to this other way of writing it, y equals negative 3 halves x plus 6. Pretty cool. Next I'm going to show you example number 2 in a separate video, a completely different way to do this kind of problem.